Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. The first angel's message is clear, that we must worship the Creator, who made heaven, the earth, and the sea. Which we also clearly see in the fourth commandment of God, about the seventh day Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11, For in six days the Lord made, heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Therefore, the Sabbath is very important that we keep holy unto the Lord, as that is the one day of the week that pays homage to Him, as the Creator. God bless. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Babylon is fallen. The first beast of Revelation chapter 13 are the Vatican in Rome. We know from Daniel 7 that a beast represents a kingdom, and the whore who is riding the beast in Revelation chapter 17, arrayed in scarlet and purple color, decked with pearls and precious stones having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Is clearly the Roman Catholic Church, the Papacy, who resides in the Vatican in Rome. As we have went over in our other videos, they have changed the commandments of God, because the Roman Catholic Church claims that they are above the Bible, which of course is a lie. No one has the authority to change the law of God. The Vatican even calls themselves Babylon, which we can see in this quote. The penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and well known, the Rome was called the New Babylon. Faith of Our Fathers 1917 ed. Cardinal Gibbons page 106. Another good point to make, regarding Rome being the first beast in Revelation chapter 13. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 17 verse 9, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sitteth. The Vatican says, It is within the city of Rome, called the city of the seven hills, that the entire area of Vatican state proper is now confined. The Catholic Encyclopedia page 529. Brethren, the Vatican blasphemes the Creator at any chance they get, it has always been like this. The Popes has called themselves God on earth. They are clearly working for Satan. So therefore, Babylon is fallen. God bless. If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The third angel's message is clear. As we know from the second angel that Babylon, Rome, Vatican, is fallen, because they have changed the commandments of God, and has infiltrated all churches, denominations and politics over the past many years, to bring them all back to Romanism, which is where we are today. It is clearly Daniel 2 image, church and state, feats of iron and clay, which cannot adhere. Protestantism used to be a protest against Rome, but it is no more, because they have been infiltrated by the Jesuits of Rome, they are now shaking hands with them and joining them instead, taking part of their false doctrines. Most churches today has a 501c3 tax exemption status, which basically means that the fallen Laodicea churches are told what they are allowed to preach. As they are controlled by the governments, who are controlled by the Jesuits of Rome, Babylon. Which makes the fallen Laodicea churches the image of the beast, as they are echoing the same teachings and doctrines. The third angel is very clear. If we follow the false man-made doctrines of Rome, which are contrary to the Holy Scriptures, then we are serving the Vatican beast through his image, and will have part in the seven last plagues of God's wrath, which will be poured out without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and to be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. Christ is calling us to come out of the fallen apostate Laodicea churches. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 17-18 Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you.
and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. This is clearly saying that we cannot be sons and daughters of God if we are not following his commandments. Which we also clearly see in Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. God bless. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. This is the loud cry, message, to call people out of Babylon. If people don't come out of the fallen apostate Laodicea churches and be separate, and truly born again, like Jesus commanded us, they will be partakers of her sins, meaning that they abide in sin, and therefore they will receive her plagues. I cannot emphasize it enough in these last days. Come out of Babylon, brethren, time is getting short before we enter into the tribulation. God bless.